Centripetal acceleration is A sub C is equal to V squared over R. Right? Whenever you're moving in a circle, you always have centripetal acceleration. But we know what V is. V is equal to omega R. So this is omega R squared over R. And I can square that out. I get omega squared R squared divided by R. One of the R's cancels out. And I get omega squared R. Okay, so centripetal acceleration is equal to omega squared R. It's the same thing as V squared o over R, of course. We've just changed the variables. So when you're moving in a circle and you have centripetal acceleration, what do we know? We know that the centripetal acceleration is always pointing towards the center of the circle. Okay, But if you are speeding up as you go around this circle, then you can also have some tangential acceleration. And those are always tangent to the circle, which means that it is orthogonal at a right angle to A sub C. A sub C and A sub T are always at a right angle to each other. I'll just write that out here. AT is perpendicular to AC. And so if you want to calculate the total acceleration, you have to add those up as vectors. So what's the total acceleration? Total acceleration A is just A sub T plus A sub C. We have to add those up as vectors. And what we said was they're at a right angle to each other. So the two vectors that I had, remember when you add two vectors, you can move them around however you want, as long as you maintain the orientation and the length. And so let's take our two vectors and put it like that. AT was up, AC was towards the center of the circle. What is A? It's right there. It's the hypotenuse of that triangle. This is the right angle. So we can easily calculate the magnitude of A because this is a right triangle, so it's Pythagoras. So we have AT squared plus AC squared, all of that square rooted. But we know what those things are, right? We know that AT is equal to R alpha. And we know that AC is equal to omega squared times R. And so we can lump those things together. And now we can simplify a bit. We have an R squared alpha squared plus R squared omega to the fourth, all of that square rooted. And I have an r squared in both of them, so we can write it r squared times alpha squared plus omega to the fourth, square rooted, and when I take the square root of r squared. So the total acceleration is just the sum of the tangential acceleration plus the centripetal acceleration. Those are vectors, and so we, had to, we have to add them as vectors. AT in our picture was up, AC was towards the center of the circle. When you add two vectors, you can move them around, you just have to maintain their orientation and their length. And so AT and AC are at right angles, we can complete the triangle here and get our vector A, which is our total acceleration. Now if you want to calculate the magnitude of that, it's just the sum of the squares square rooted. It's Pythagorean theorem for that triangle. But we know a little bit about AT and AC. We know that AT is equal to R alpha, AC is equal to omega squared times R. And if you plug those into your equation, you can in fact simplify to R times the square root of alpha squared plus omega to the fourth. Okay. So 
So that is the total acceleration for non-uniform circular motion.